at Annie. She is coloring some grids for her project. Why not learn different types of fractions with her? Let us begin with proper fractions. Look, Annie has colored some portions of the grid. She has colored two parts of the grid out of six. Next to it, she has written the fraction two sixth. Here, in the fraction obtained, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So, we say that two upon six is a proper fraction. Remember, a proper fraction is a fraction having a numerator that is less than its denominator. Now, let us understand improper fractions. Look, Annie has two more grids. In the first one, she has colored all the four parts of the grid. That is, she has colored the entire grid. We can write it in fraction as 4 upon 4. In the second grid, she colored one part of the grid out of 4. That is, 1 fourth. To find the total colored parts, we again add the fractions. So, here again, as the denominator are same, we add the numerators and get the answer as 5 upon 4. Here, look at the numerator. It is greater than the denominator. So, we say that 5 upon 4 is an improper fraction. Now, look, Annie has one more grid. She has colored all the six parts of the grid. That is, she has colored the entire grid. We can write it in fraction as 6 upon 6, which is equal to 1. 6 upon 6 is also an improper fraction. Remember, an improper fraction is a fraction having a numerator that is equal to or greater than the denominator. Look, Annie is representing the fractions on the number line. Here, 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5, 3 upon 5, 4 upon 5 are proper fractions as these fractions have a numerator that is less than the denominator. And 5 upon 5, 6 upon 5, 7 upon 5 are improper fractions as these fractions have a numerator that is equal to or greater than the denominator. Next, let us know about like and unlike fractions. Fractions having the same denominators are called like fractions. For example, 1 fourth, 2 fourth, 3 fourth, 5 upon 4 are like fractions. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, 1 fourth, 2 upon 3, 1 upon 7 and 5 upon 8 are unlike fractions. Now, let us look at the third type, which is mixed numbers, also called as mixed fractions. Look, Annie has two grids. She has colored the first grid completely and half of the second grid. When added together, we get one and half. This one and half represents a mixed number. Thus, we say a mixed number is the sum of a natural number and a proper fraction. Look, Annie completed her colouring and we are learning. Hope you had fun!